What's going on guys, Vex you back. And today we got a brand new video on Bitcoin and the crypto executive order from Biden that just got signed, as well as why Bitcoin might be pumping from some little leaks yesterday uh, from Janet Yellen. But before we jump into all of that, if you're not subscribed, make sure to smash that sub button because we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. But we can jump into the first thing here being Janet Yellen's leaked a press conference on what she was actually talking about and this is actually the reason that bitcoin started pumping yesterday last night because this obviously is dated for today march 9th but it leaked and got released yesterday last night and uh, a lot of people read this and saw wow it's not a problem for bitcoin they're not going after bitcoin so the first quote here just kind of talks says President Biden's historic executive order calls for a coordinated and comprehensive approach to digital asset policy. This approach will support responsible innovation that could result in substantial benefits for the nation, consumers, and businesses. It will also address risks related to illicit finance, protecting consumers and investors, and pre preventing threats to the financial system and broader economy. Kind of basic things they've been saying over and over and over again for so long but what they're really focusing on on these from their statements is not things like bitcoin or even really ethereum or anything like that they're really focused on stable coins and they're really focused on stable coins because they're the thing that can compete with the dollar or take over the dollar uh not something like bitcoin doesn't really compete with the dollar it like compliments the dollar when you talk about bitcoin you talk about its price in dollars so it's just it, it's something that's not really going to overthrow the dollar they don't see it as a threat like that but stable coins like tether usdc the binance stable coin all these that are meant to stay at a dollar are something that could undermine the dollar worldwide and be something that people turn to instead of using dollars. So that's why they're going to go after it. And this is where they talk about the stable coins kind of going after it, which uh, they say, you know, this work will complement ongoing efforts by Treasury. Already, the department has worked with the president's working group on financial markets, the FDIC, OCC, to study one particular kind of asset, stable coins, and make recommendations. So, you know, under the executive order, Treasury and interagency partners will build upon recently published national risk assessment, which identify key illicit financing risk associated with digital assets. Uh, they're really just talking about uh, stable coins. So this is why Bitcoin pumped, why it was moving up so well and kind of blew through 40K up till oh, like around 42K right now. It's because it wasn't about Bitcoin. It never was about Bitcoin. It's about stable coins. That's what they're worried about. They're they're going after stable coins because they can compete and undermine the dollar, as well as stable coins are the backbone of DeFi. They're the backbone of that kind of system. If you want to take DeFi down, just take stable coins down. So that's something else maybe they have on their mind as well. Uh, and you can say goodbye to the pretty good stable coin yields on platforms like Voyager or BlockFi, uh, like this 9% or something, if uh, the US bans stable coins and tries to go down that route. So that's the only part that would really, really suck is it would get rid of this uh, stable coin yield that people can be using on these platforms, as well as maybe dry up a little bit of liquidity in the market. We know Tether is a huge trading pair with things like Bitcoin and Ethereum, basically all of crypto. So that liquidity would be taken away if stable coins were banned in the US. But we also have the Biden cryptocurrency executive order that he signed today. Uh, and you can see sweeping cryptocurrency review, setting the stage for regulation. There were so many people pointing to this and the bears and perma bears pointed and saying, this is going to be the big thing. This is going to take it all down. And nothing happened because anyone who knew anything knew this was absolutely nothing. It's something to just say to agencies, start considering thinking about maybe doing regulations. It's really nothing going on. But you can see with this executive order, uh, aiming to secure the nation's position as a leader in a rapidly growing industry while containing risk to consumers and financial systems itself. 
That's what we want to hear. We want to hear to be a leader in this industry, not ban it, go on with crypto and Bitcoin. Maybe they don't like stable coins, but Bitcoin, Ethereum, these crypto ecosystems is something to be willing to be a leader in and be willing to let the innovation go, be a leader in innovation and don't block it. This is just like the internet. You don't want to get in the internet's way. Imagine how far behind you would be as a country if you didn't want the internet. And there's some countries that are like that now. And a quote from the Economic Council director says, fundamentally an American approach to digital assets is one that encourages innovation, but mitigate, mitigates risk to consumers, investors, and business, broader financial stability, and the environment. So a uh, whole lot of still kind of the fear mongering things of before, uh, you know, worrying about the environment, that's the thing on Bitcoin all the time is it's so bad for the environment, but no one actually takes the time to dig into the numbers of renewable energy that Bitcoin uses and how things like washing machines use more energy than Bitcoin. Christmas lights use more energy than Bitcoin. Are you going to ban those? So, I mean, you know, you just got to kind of think a little bit here, but, you know, everything else is kind of whatever. And this is pretty much their job, mitigate risk to consumers, investors, and business. There are a lot of scams in crypto, a lot of pump and dumps, Ponzi schemes. These meme coins that come up left and right are just cash grabs. Uh, so maybe that's something, too, they're trying to focus on and trying to stop from happening so much because it is insane the amount that it's happening now. And here's the basically the entire part of this executive order calls for unprecedented focus of coordination action across all relevant U.S. government agencies. That was the big part of the bill. Like that was the part everyone was trying to freak out and say that it was something that it was not. But it's it's literally just asking government agencies to do some research, go look into this thing, see what it's all about, and then come up with maybe some regulation that we might want to put in here. But it's not, they've, they've been more supportive, not trying to ban it, not trying to get rid of it, not trying to stifle innovation, but continue being an industry leader. The majority of the hatch rate for Bitcoin is in the US now. There's a lot of jobs that go around with that, economic growth, stability to power grids. There's a lot of good things that come with Bitcoin. And I think, that even though people don't want to give the government any credit and say they're always terrible, at least they seem like they might just be trying to understand this and not trying to stand in the way and just kind of, you know, force everything to shut down or stifle innovation. They're trying to understand it somewhat. And you see Janet Yellen, Treasury will work to promote a fairer, more inclusive, more efficient financial system while building on our ongoing work to counter illicit finance and prevent risk to financial stability and national security. Always got to bring national security. Uh, but I mean, this kind of sounds like maybe a CBDC, which I don't think anybody wants. No one should want that if you know what it's all about. It's just no privacy at all. So CBDCs, we don't want that, but maybe it's coming. So, but you can see ending this off seems to be taking on the reality that digital assets represent one of the most significant technologies and infrastructures for the 21st century. It's rewarding to see this from the White House after so many of us have been making the case for nine plus years. That is really how it all is. We just wanted to see the innovation go and become something. And right now it seems Bitcoin, Bitcoin itself has just become so massive that it, it can't fail, too big to fail, uh, maybe at this point. And even Ethereum's getting there, it's so big and getting intertwined with people's lives. Maybe that's getting a little too big to just disappear as well as the rest of this crypto market. But a lot of these cryptos, the meme coins, Ponzi's, pump and dumps, all this stuff, they uh, will probably disappear. It'll be not that many cryptos that we see today that'll be around in 10 years. And Bitcoin, this was the move up from all of this news, the leaked Janet Yellen statement from about $38,000 all the way to $42,500, currently at $42,200. Uh, and in this red channel, yet again, it has been an extremely volatile time for Bitcoin. I mean, you can just see the past couple of months just, you know, going up, 
coming down, back up, back down, back up. It's been extremely volatile, a lot of uncertainty in the overall markets for everything, including stocks, but Bitcoin getting affected as well. But we see a ton of green here on the side. Everything's starting to look a little bit better. Maybe we're getting a little bit of uncertainty gone, fear gone, and starting to just get back into a more normal ish market but that's gonna do it for this video the biden executive order on crypto really a nothing burger we already knew that i was saying this for weeks leading up to this and even the last few days that it's literally nothing it's asking agencies to start doing research to start thinking about regulation it's really not much going on and then the leak of the Yan uh, janet yellen stuff just going after stable coins which is still good for bitcoin and good for, you know, basically it's not a stable coin, but there are going to be other implications like DeFi can suffer and even uh, liquidity and uh, getting your yields, your 9%, which is way more than you can get at any bank or anything. So we'll see how it all goes if the U.S. goes down that path of banning stable coins because they're scared of them undermining the dollar. But as always, I'm going to smash the like button and subscribe and there are to 1,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys in my next video.